All right. All right. Diet, I got it. Wow. Big win. Big win. Even the dogs are excited. Wow. We just it's uh, true. finished a game that I think everyone knew we were going to finish the way we were going to finish. Right, Pete? This is the way it should have been going back to October or November or wherever, whenever we played right. them. Bodo Glimt, before this game didn't exist, and after this game, they can go uh, say hi to Santa Claus for us. They're nothing, they're nobodies. I guess we did this just for a little just, bit of it excitement. Made, it made us drink a little bit. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. I would say Roma did a spectacular job playing. Spectacular job. But what is your uh, technical commentary? Bodo Medra. Bodo Medra. That's what we want. Wow. But really, gee, this is uh, what we wanted to see. Oh my God. We go ahead immediately. Score a goal. Right, Tammy. Tammy time. Tammy tre punti. Leading goal scorer all time of the conference, conference league. Conference league. Wow. Wow. He is. Now this was amazing. Tammy was great. It's but, uh, natural hat trick. It was amazing. You guys are ruining the show. You're ruining the show. Look, even the dog is excited. Nothing, He's so excited nothing, nothing for our win. He was there the whole time with us. Now we'll try to do <laughs> some better. The, the role I'm going to have another sit. Great work. Now look, this is uh, it's us against Leicester now. I feel fully confident. When this team wants to play, we know how to play. Now it's really wow. just up to us to keep the concentration high, to keep the motivation high, and I think playing a uh, Premier League team in the semi-finals. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Mourinho will have them ready. I have no idea how Leicester's doing this season. I can only imagine they suck if they're uh, playing the Conference League with us. But, uh, you know, the English, not only the Premiership, but generally as, as a people, they're not, not the uh, brightest crayons in the box, you can say. <laughs> they're probably going to push up forward, and uh, that's uh, right where uh, Mourinho and uh, us want them. I think that Mourinho is in the zone right now. Hottest team in Serie A, right? I would say he's in his prime. He's in his prime. He's in the prime. He's Mourinho's in the prime. always green, yeah. yeah. He's uh, 59 years old, 25 uh, major trophies. Let's make it 26, guys. All right, so. Let's uh, wait, though. Let's talk about more serious things because well, Bodo, again, they don't yeah. exist. No, no, no. It was an interesting dream we, we just had. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, these uh, Norwegian fishermen, maybe they can go uh, choke on some smoked salmon. Well, I'm, really gl I'm glad that they will never ever post a 6-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's after this. They, they can take their 6-1 and uh, that. My God. Yeah, go back to the uh, North Pole. <laughs> to your but, uh, so so uh, we played Salernitana this past weekend. Right? It was, we uh, watched it together, it was uh, brutal for 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. But uh, re-watching re it at home, knowing the result. So then John had two shots, one goal. I, I can't explain the uh, the letdowns we have sometime. I'm thinking both games against Vitesse, Udinese. You know, I really think that sometimes it's like, it has to be this travel. Like them coming from the North Pole, right? From Bordeaux, yeah. mm -hmm. Thursday, coming in Friday, playing two days later. I, Definitely has an effect. Oh, no, absolutely. They, they, they look sluggish. It looks slow. No, I think Bodo was intimidated by the uh, sixty-five thousand strong. What a crowd! The Curva Sud was amazing. I don't think we've seen crowds yeah. like that since the two thousands. Right? Yeah, since uh, Franco and Rosella wow. were in charge, uh, Palotta did his best to decimate the fan base. I, I feel like starting with the Derby crowd. The Olympico has just been packed every game. Everyone's excited to go see Rome. Yes, yeah, I can end Roma. If you saw the crowds, everyone was cheering for Rome. Yeah. Uh, look what the Friedkins have done. They have brought the fans back to the stadium, mm -hmm. whether it's against Salernitana, who are, you know, the bottom bottom of the table, to Bodo, to the Derby. We're, yeah. we're selling out. Gee, I, I feel a trophy in our future. Yeah, no, no, I definitely do. I do too. I do feel like fourth place sound reached out. No, I, I've I said that all along. The um, Juventus schedule looks really easy. It, it doesn't matter if they played Inter seven times in a row. Juventus, 
by divine right, they have to qualify for, for the champ. top four. They need to pay off lot of Imagine they need to make Champions League. Yeah, that's the way that, things work in Italy. Has happened up since the, I guess since they were disqualified out of the league, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. They, yeah. But yeah, yeah, let's concentrate on the fifth place, which is not going to be easy. We go to uh, Naples on Easter Monday. Mm -hmm. Stadio Maradona. Uh, Maradona. Uh, look, Pellegrini went out. Zaniolo looks like he re-injured his calf that he hurt with the national team. And Tammy got subbed off. We don't know right now whether those are uh, anything of concern or if we're going to see them on right. Monday. We hope we do, but we hope we, they get better. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, look. It's Napoli in typical Spalletti fashion shit the bed last week against Fiorentina. I was hoping he would uh, soil himself against us this week, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's a uh, it's a monumental task. If we can get away with a point, I'd be happy. We still have uh, Lazio and Atalanta, which also they. Bye bye Europe for Atalanta. We are streaking right now. Streaking. Let's uh, let's keep it going, guys. I mean, we had one loss in Norway in the past two months. Yeah, around Norway. Right. Yeah, who cares about Norway? We just. I think games played above the Arctic Circle don't count. <laughs> yeah. If I recall, <laughs> no, but really, I want to leave everyone with a. Uh, Bodo. However, I do want to acknowledge the passion of the Bodo Glint fans and just say, you know what, you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Great. And in, in Good another job. 300 years, we may uh, we may have heard of you guys again. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I really have nothing against the uh, Norwegians, but you guys were uh, super obnoxious. Yeah. More the team and the coaching staff, than the fans themselves. I heard the fans were uh, other other than the snowballs were uh, decent human beings. Yeah. I mean that's obnoxious. Scandinavians in general are a pretty arrogant bunch, like the English. We still don't know why. Welcome to the Europa, guys. Yeah, welcome. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, Monday. Monday we have uh, Roman Napoli. Give, give me a give me a two. score. Oh man, give me a win. We got two one Roma. Two one. I'm going Roma. two one. He's just saying a win. I'm two one. Yeah. Napoli merda, Forza Roma. It will be Grand Cafe. People there. Not official meetup. It is Pasquetta, but people will be there. If you, love, if you love Roma, you'll be Roma there. Roma Napoli will be on the TV. Forza Roma, ragazzi. Forza Roma. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ciao.